today's video, I want to explain how you can make a good amount of money in the coronavirus age. And now it's not going to be something where I tell you have a real estate property where you could earn monthly cash flows or have a massive stock portfolio to earn dividends. I'm not, I can't be the only one who is annoyed when you go on a YouTube video, see like the awesome thumbnail and you're excited because you think you found something and then it's just another idea to, to invest in something. Look, what I'm going to share with you in this video doesn't require a bunch of money or going to buy a house. All you need is realistically a couple hundred of dollars and access to the internet. That's it. What this idea is, is called retail arbitrage. It's when you find an opportunity in the marketplace. Now, these opportunities exist all over the world from all different types of markets and sectors. The retail aspect is when you go ahead and you buy retail items to then resell for a profit. What this means is that you can go into different stores such as Target or Walmart or Home Goods, buy items that you think you could sell on a different platform, such as perhaps Amazon or eBay, at a higher price. Now, if you've never heard this before, I know, I know the excitement, stay tuned. If you have seen this before, before you click away, I've been doing this for a little bit under a year. I've learned a lot that I could share with you that will definitely help you out. So what are the steps to get going? Step number one is you need to have a good financial spreadsheet to track all your income and your expenses. At the end of the day, you're going to be buying a lot of things and in the process of selling a lot of things. So you need something to give you that consistency and stability when you're going through all of the transactions. When I first started, this was a big pain point for me initially, especially when you collect all the receipts, which is super important. Tip number one, keep all of your receipts. You never know when you're going to need it for bookkeeping purposes or what have you. It's always good to have that sort of physical documentation. When I first started, I made the spreadsheet um, to keep track of my income and expenses. So there's two different components of the spreadsheet. The first is Amazon, which you see here. The second is the eBay portion. Both are relatively similar. They, there's only minor differences and that's just due to the, to the different platforms. But if you look at Amazon, eBay is the same. You have the date purchased, the name of item, place purchased, purchase price, selling price, the Amazon fee and your gross profit. You have kind of a return calculator to see how well you're doing. This is for tracking. Um, and similar with eBay, when you buy something and it hasn't sold, you want to know that it hasn't sold compared to an item that has sold because as your spreadsheet gets longer and longer, um, not, al not always does the first item you buy is the first item you sell. Sometimes you'll buy an item that sells really fast, but you might have an item that you bought many days ago that still hasn't sold. So you just want to make sure that you're keeping track of, of your inventory. So it calculates miscellaneous fees to see exactly how much you know you expect to make off that item. On the eBay side, it's very similar. Um, the only addition on the eBay part is there's a profit calculator. For Amazon, there's already a profit calculator that I'll get into later, but for eBay, there isn't. So I kind of went ahead and made one. If you want to go ahead and download that link to the spreadsheet, I'll leave it in the description. Step number two is the fun part is actually going in the store and purchasing the item. The question then becomes, where do I go to buy the products? <clears throat> Essentially, if we're living in normal times, you would go out to different stores. You could just drive and you could go to Walmart or Target, Home Goods, Goodwill is awesome, any sort of consignment shop. But because of the coronavirus, you probably don't want to go outside. And that's totally okay. There's still other opportunities for where to source your products. You can even go on eBay and try to find items you think are really cheap and that you think you could sell for a higher price. So now once you know where to go to find the products, 
the main kind of question and puzzle is which products do you want to buy? Now, with my experience, you know, any type of item could have the potential. So you have to have really good eyes and try to find what you think will sell well. And over time, you will develop an intuition where if you're just like walking down the aisle and you think you see something that could sell, you might just hit a winner or a jackpot. So if you're if you find an item that you think is profitable, there's really two ways where you could test its profitability. The first is to use the Amazon Sellers app to calculate how much you think you'll be able to sell it for. But also calculate the fees and you can estimate your shipping costs to see your net profit. Cool. Note that just because an item is profitable by financial metrics doesn't mean it's a worthwhile investment. There's something called the best seller rank specifically for Amazon, which is an indication of how fast it moves off the shelf. So what you want to do is typically look for an item that has a BSR, the best sellers rank, lower than 200,000, and that gives you a good indication that it might move off the shelf in a quickly manner. The second way to determine profitability is if you want to sell, sell it on eBay. I suggest downloading the eBay app so you can quickly search the item. Now note, when you search the item and the first thing that comes up are going to be all of the listings for that item. Now that's not what it, your item may eventually sell at. It's just what people are right now offering to sell it at. There's a massive difference between what someone might offer, what other people are actually selling the item for. And that could be a massive difference. So what you want to do is on the app, scroll down and filter by like sold all to see what is the item actually selling for. This gives you the best indication of what type of profit you may be looking at for that particular item. Now, this is a very general overview of the process. There's many intricacies that go into doing this successfully. So what I suggest is if you are interested, go on YouTube. There's plenty of videos on retail arbitrage and very detailed step-by-step -step guides. My video is just to give you a, a kind of a higher level overview of what the idea is. And if you're interested to send you off your way on finding the step-by-step -step details so you could actually implement in your life and earn some extra money during these coronavirus times. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I will read every single comment and get back to you. But I do want to ask you this. What are your side hustles that you're doing in the coronavirus time and how much are you doing? Tell me about it. I want to hear. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you later.